Hey YouTube, thanks for watching my video on lightweight, light budget, dual sport camping. Video 14 in the series, the table fable. Yeah, I wanted a table and believe me, I've been catching hell from my ultralight backpacking buddy about even having a table. But I wanted to have a table to, uh, you know, cut some food on, set some stuff down. And I've been catching... <laughs> Like I said, I've been catching hell about the table and the chair, but, um, you know, hey, the stuff not on my back. We're looking for inspiration from light, ultralight through hikers, not to copy them. So I ended up, uh, well, I, you know, my, well, well, first my disclaimer, I'm no motor vlogger. I don't edit videos. It's one take only take. If I miss it, I'm sorry. Let me know. I'll correct it in the description. Uh, video production quality on XT250 all day low. But that being said, ask me any questions, I'm always happy to answer. And here in my Ozark Trail uh, 30 liter duffel is my table. Fits right in here. So I typically look for the nicest thing, right? And I think the nicest table out there is probably the Helinox table. Super nice. But over $100, so I look around to see what's the nicest and and what features make it the nicest and what I'm looking for. And, uh, yeah, I wanted something with a flat surface. There's actually, uh, talking about Ozark Trails, there's the Ozark Trail table that's similar to this. That's Walmart's private brand on camping gear. Uh, like $14, and I went and looked at one, and they're they're decent but they have like can holders built into the surface of the table like a couple little nets i'm like no nah, that's fraught with disaster i'm not going to be drinking beer out of cans anyway it's uh too bulky too much bulk per ounce of alcohol so stick with the spirits if you're on <laughs> to stay uh lightweight and um so i want something with just a solid surface so again Helinox, I looked at that. I looked at a couple others. I'm crawling down in the value brand space there. That something that's more budget friendly that'll do the job for me. I see the Trekology table. Uh, that's a aluminum slat table. And I have a table like that, a Coleman for camping. That design's pretty nice, but they're bulky. You know, I want something not bulky and so kept looking around kept looking around i was on uh geek.com wish.geek.com and <laughs> if you're not in a hurry you can find some good deals there but it'll take about a month and a half to get to you know straight out of shenzhen but i saw this table on sale for like 20 dollars and i'm like okay that that looks decent i'm gonna try it out uh and it had one other thing that cracked me up and that is he wolf branded oh my gosh it's gonna match my 25 dollar tent and by the way i saw that they, if you look at that video on my tent um i saw that they have that back available on ebay for like 87 bucks i got it for somebody was selling six of them brand new uh, asking 35 offered 25 so that's how i got my 25 dollar four season two person tent and he wolf all day <laughs> so so that's how that goes sorry i just got a call <laughs> interrupted my video but uh yeah so let's go ahead and show this to you and you can find a table just like this on ebay for like $24, something like that. So don't need to wait so long for it. It's this exact same table. Um, so there we go, little Velcro strap. Sorry, I'm always one-handed videos here. Uh, there it is. Let me set up these legs. So there's the leg set up. It's a nice sturdy design and the fabric top goes on these click into the ends here. 
there you go all set up uh, like I said nice and sturdy pretty flat you have these little support bars through here but um, I think it's gonna work great for uh, setting stuff on and I actually have a couple of um, well, I'll take not a cutting board, but a cutting mat. Let me show you that. Hold on. Chopping mat. Flexible. Fold it up. Probably fold it up right with the table. Uh, $1 VIP at the Dollar Tree. So that's it, man. Um, I think it's going to work out just fine. And like I said, uh, on eBay, you can find a table just like this for $24, $25. So lightweight, light budget. I think it fits the bill. And so the real question is, hey, when's the shakedown camping trip? So last weekend, uh, you know, still really cold. This weekend, awesome. I mean, look at it out there. So awesome. Uh, and I mowed my yard Thursday night. Cause I like to do that because it's nice for the weekend and the weekend is not for mowing that's it in my book write it down don't mow on the weekend get it done during the week so I was thought oh yeah my shakedown one nighter camping which hey man I might get out there camp for a night and go this to table's totally unnecessary I'm not taking it anymore and I've bounced a few things out of the list uh, like this little light and going anymore I'm good with light my espresso uh, actually French press cup uh, this dude not going so and shakedown cruise might prove that that is a luxury item that I don't need but we'll find out I don't know when I'm sitting in my chair by my table I think it'll be just fine and but when, when am I going well I thought this weekend and and I've actually I've been I went on the shakedown cruise last weekend right I mean I bounced this bike around big time and I've adjusted every single strap like the the, the points that I connected them how and uh, how I strapped it down and all that and I thought I had it dialed in a couple more days of bouncing this thing around. I'm going to move my rig gear saddlebags a little more forward. And a tool tube is going to be nice. I don't have that yet. And I'm a little remiss on not having my tool set up uh, all put together yet. But on a short trip close to home, I'm a little less worried about having to change a flat. So... But this weekend, staycation. Some friends are coming down. We're going to hit the river. I live right by a river and the lake. And we're hitting both those. And going to be down all weekend. So not this weekend, but I'm really thinking next weekend. And uh, looking forward to the shape down one nighter. Because then, you know, a little later, the three days are going to be happening. So... Awesome. Getting excited. Getting a lot closer. The weather's finally turned. Um, like I said, last last Saturday when I thought I was going to go to overnight low in the mountains, had to be in the low 30s. I just wasn't ready for that. So, uh, that being said, thanks for watching my videos. Um, like I said, low production quality, but I hope you can look past that and uh, get some good info in your own that you can use for yourself and that is it as always on xt 250 all day and he wolf all day ride safe everybody